the Loch Ness Monster's hiding place been discovered? Peekaboo, I see you Loch Ness Monster. I'm Rebecca Felgate talking about everyone's favourite deep lake creature here on IO. Guys, I want to hear from you. Very simple question. Do you believe in the Loch Ness Monster? Let me know in the comments section below. I, for one, am kind of on the fence. Like, I'd really like it to be true. A former fisherman in Scotland has sonically mapped the bottom of Loch Ness reportedly the home of Nessie. Now Keith Stewart now runs a water cruise tour and he has used state of the art sonar technology to map the bed of the lake Loch Ness. Previously measured at 813 feet deep, so 250 meters, the new mapping has shown that parts of the lake are 889 feet deep. We think that there's some kind of underwater trench there that wasn't previously discovered. Now this goes to show that we don't actually really know this body of water that well. There could be water caves and more trenches down there that we haven't found yet. A proper exploration of Loch Ness hasn't been conducted in 10 years. Now in these caves and in these trenches it is highly possible that a lot of big fish live in them. Big fish like Nessie for example. Now Keith said that he's very curious about Nessie's existence. He said, two weeks ago I got a sonar image of what looked like a long object with a hump lying at the bottom. When he went back all he found was this new trench but what could have slipped into it? We don't know. So that's all I have for you on this story. This is good news potentially for Nessie fans. Maybe there's a Nessie colony living down there. I for one hope so. I'm Rebecca Felgate. This has been IO. Be sure to like, share and subscribe and why not check out our other videos. I'll see you next time.